ghost crab just came on the screen. I'm going to read a... I could read a fear scroll, or I could just read a teleport and then petition potion again. I don't think Bunyip is going to get afraid. Crocodile might. Alright, well, let's do it. Oh, no, they all did get afraid, except for the ghost crab. And then we can... Um, well... Haste and heal wounds. Sounds pretty good. Do it. All right. Now, at this point, I'm going to... Uh... Do this, and then... Oh, right. I see what you mean. Starburst did some good work there. We killed the Bunyip. Now it's just a ghost crab. Um, is the ghost crab spectral? Can I put sticky flame on it, or does it not care? I'm looking at it. It's small. Oh, oh, okay. Yep, yeah, you can. Hey, Starburst. <laughs> well, that was a Gozag, Gozag, Starburst situation. Oh, my God. All right, we got to get out of here. This is a little bit too spicy for me. Let's bail. And we'll go out. Alright. So, we can rest. And we're not dead. So that's the key. Our stats are slowly climbing. But goodness gracious, ghost moths. Alright, swamp worm is here. Let's just toxic radiance. Oh, no. Alright. I got brought into this world. Okay, so... Well, I can poison the bog bodies. Hey, hey, Grim, what is up? How you doing? I'm doing great, Grim. Thanks for asking. All right. So, I'm going to armor. And then I'm going to radiance. Oh, no, they don't get hit by it. And then we're going to try to starburst. And try to starburst. One more Starburst? How about Starburst? That's right, they're undead. Well, you know what undead can do, Snack? They can burn. They can burn. <laughs> uh, I'm leaning on Starburst pretty heavily. And I'm getting... It's down to 13% fail as my strength and intelligence come back up. Whew, steamy. That's right, nice guy. It's not bad, Snack. It's not bad. If you don't care about hitting everything around you. You're pushing the 90s in Path of Exile, Grim. Awesome. I really want to get a character really powerful in that game. My problem with Path of Exile, Grim, is that I love the sphere grid and traveling around and leveling up. And what I end up doing is just making a new character all the time and being like, you know... Being like, oh, I can't. This build would be. This build would be sick. Let's try this type of character, and so I just re-roll all the time. All 
All right. Frog dead. Hydra coming. Oh, theoretically it's coming. There it goes. <laughs> if you've played less than 2,000 hours, it's best to follow a build guide. Then I definitely should follow a build guide. Because I make bad decisions all the time with my builds. Thinking, oh, this is definitely the way to go. Got it. Oh, it's a ghost crab. All right. So, ghost crab. Well, maybe you don't like... Uh... What is... If I were to polymorph you, what could I get? Not susceptible. Ouch. I am a huge noob then. Enjoy the game, but I'm a noob. All right, let's see. Uh... Undead perks indeed. Where, where'd you go? There you are. All right. All right. We're in the miasma. You know what, though? These are genie perks. Miasma does not affect me. I don't care what kind of miasma is. I don't know if... The, I mean, I think the Spectral Mist falls into that category, right? That's awesome, Grim. Hey, if you find a game that you like, roll it. All right, here they come. Oh, it just does very light damage. Okay, I was just thinking like, oh, yeah, I've, I've beat this guy. I'm immune. All right, let's keep doing this. Bog body. What we do with the bog body is just blast it with Searing Ray and our buddy, and that should be enough, and it was enough. God, we're slowly getting our stats back here. Hey, Nick Man, what's up, my friend? How you doing? I gotta listen to that vampire music that you posted, Nick Man. If you're feeling in that gothic mood. Oh, there's enchant armor. I'll take it. God, look at all the stuff that I have. It's not enchanted. Gloves. Oh, there's so many ridiculous decks. Did you find one that was fun that you could build? All right. <laughs> now I'm just exploring the swamp. Oh, God. Shambling mangrove. All right, let's take him up. Set him on fire. Step one. Set my armor up. Oof. Can I beat the mangrove? Like, what is the... What do I need to be doing? Starburst? Yeah, probably right. There we go. Got him. Just had to set the whole forest on fire. <laughs> That's awesome, Nick Man. Well, you could play Historic. There's some crazy combos you can get going in uh, Historic. I was watching Day 9 do some insane stuff. They do. I was lucky to get that guy to come up the steps. Oh, this is not what I wanted to see. Um, all right. Well, I guess this is a Starburst kind of day. I could just iron shot her, I suppose. Yep, I'll do it.
All right, Luke. Thanks so much for stopping in, my friend. Have a great dinner. Good luck with your own dungeon crawl. I hope you can get over that hump in the new patch and get your groove back. All right, we got all kinds of bad stuff here. Oh, boy. All right. Going up. <laughs> yeah, I'll move. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to summon a, this and then just fire Searing Ray. One, two, three, four. Oof. I know. Starburst is great as long as I can cast it reliably. And I'm down to 10% now as I get closer to my stats. I'm telling you, these staircases are all poor. Okay. This one's sort of better, but there's a bunyip. Let's try to get the bunyip at range if we can. Alright, I'm going to pull him up. He didn't come up. That's a shame. Alright. Tentacle monstrosity is really more than I want to see right now. I think it might be time to just bail. <laughs> on the swamp. It's getting a little saucy for me. That guy could just constrict me into oblivion. Let's go ahead then and go to... Let's go back to the spider's nest. Try to do some work here. We have more information for how to kill these ghost moths. Oh, wow. That's a situation. Alright. Oh, this guy's annihilating me. Oh, Emperor Scorpion. Eh, I'm just getting to that weird territory where it's like I'm stalling out on my strength. Well, at least the Emperor Scorpion got stuck. Like, I could stand here and try to nuke this dude, but even then, he just has so many hit points. What do I want to do to this guy? How do I want to give, treat him? That's interesting. I'll take effective at this point. Yeah, it definitely works. Oh boy, whoops. Moved the wrong way there. That isn't right. There we go. Yep, yeah, that is a very slow way to do that. <laughs> but it it did work. Alright. 
Look at this. Joy. There we go. Alright, give me a different staircase, please. No, these are all bad. Alright, well. Alright. I mean, if I can poison them and starburst them. Okay. Let's see here. One, two, three. Got it. What is this potion that I don't know what it is? All right, well, let's identify it. Magic. Well, yeah. Don't need that potion. Okay, let me look at my uh, my skill. I think spellcasting is just too expensive at this point to get much higher, and I'd like to start raising up shields so I can wear a bigger shield. Fighting is also an option. Okay, here it comes. All right, get out of here. There we go. Let's just give him some poison and keep exploring. We have a kite shield. There was a tower shield we saw earlier as well. That would, that'll that be really difficult to ever manage. But if you look, we're down to 4% fail on Iron Shot and Starburst. And our intelligence is still sapped. So I think if we just get a little bit stronger, we'll be casting 6 level spells with what we have already. So that's pretty good. All right. Let's just give it Searing Ray. And you could have Sticky Flame as well. Toxic Radiance. Starburst. Okay. And Axe. Yep, Arga. Arga is just doing work as we recover. Man, I got I got my strength back. That's good. Let's get the rest of our stats back before we have to fight any more ghost moths. Okay, we can just swing our axe. There's a tarantula. Some other spiders. Let's just poison them. They don't like... Oh, okay. Now, these are annoying. Um, they are susceptible to poison. Perfect. Enjoy poison. All right, there we go. God, the smite that those guys, those things do is just so brutal. All right. Let's keep prowling. Jumping spider. Let's just poison all these. And then we can start searing ray the uh, orb spider before it shoots orbs at us. All right. Let me just frozen ramparts, armor... And we'll just take these guys down with the axe. All right. No. Oh. Here comes the Spriggan. Hey. 
What's up, real Demiham? Will has replaced magic resistance, my friend. So it's basically the same. It's just a new... The new flavor for it. Ooh. Yeah, so it's kind of like your willpower to resist hexes and other things that would target your magic resistance. It, because, you know, it, I guess it makes sense that a lot of the abilities that magic resistance would affect weren't necessarily magical. So they went with will. All right. I'm going to um, continue boosting my intelligence because um, I'm getting some good high-level spells, and I'd like to maybe keep casting spells, but we'll find out next level how good things are for us, if we can get a 7th level spell or something like that, and what the fail rate would be like that on something like that. Shields up to seven. Almost got our stats back. I mean, this is how long, this is how bad it was for us. You can have fire, you can have poison. Here we go. Warped artifact flail. Okay. So then, I do want to just experimentally wear a kite shield and see how bad my fail rate is. Not bad. So we're at 10% on our 3% spells if we switch to the kite shield over the buckler. And our shield ability goes up 4, but our evade goes down 2. I know, real Demi. I've gotten some amazing spells. Look at this list. You see, the and this is my first time playing Genie, but the way that the Genie works is you. I picked Ice as my starting skill book, and then every spell after Hailstorm was randomly given to me, and I've just been rolling gangbusters. Like, every spell is useful. It's fantastic. It's a little RNG because you don't get to select, like, what spell you're going to get. Oh, God. All right. We're just going to keep on that kite train. Uh, well, not not this way we're not. Oh, the demonic crawler coming up. Blocking for us. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, we got it. There we go. Take you down. Almost got my stats back. I'm telling you. All right, let's poison, and let's just starburst. Man, I'm going to stick flame on you. You got to get out of here, Entropy Weaver. That's a great question. Um, it, it, I'll have to try that, uh, Real Demi, because Iron Shot is great, but it can miss. And so I'll get back to uh, seeing how much damage it actually does against it. It is a really, really good nuke. Let's look at our Iron Shot, actually. Right now, our Iron Shot is at power level uh, 34, and we're doing 9 dice 7 with it. So we could really use getting this more powerful. This is the only... Not the only, but it's one of the weaknesses of the Genie, is that you can cast anything that you get, because you don't have to train schools. But as far as, like, specializing and getting them to be powerful, uh, it, they're not as potent, you know? But you can cast them more because your mana reserves are bonkers. I've been confused. Yeah, it is interesting. The whole experience of being a genie right now is interesting to me. Alright, let's keep on prowling. Hmm. 
<laughs> Mephitic Cloud. Boy, I haven't cast that in a while. All right. We got a boulder beetle. That's kind of annoying. You immune to poison? Oh, God, you're not. You're not going to be happy about that. There it comes. Take some more poison. I know you're rolling at me. Why don't you roll at me with, with your poison on? Oh, did you not know where I was? Where'd you go, boulder man? went off somewhere. Well, I'd like to kill you before you get your health back. Alright. Little ghost vault there. Unknown scroll. Probably... Is it acquirement? Let me look. It's either acquirement or holy word. Tempting. And Spectrina's ghost is only yellow to me. I don't know. I have to clear everything else around it first before I even dare, but there is a blink scroll too, which is so tempting. I don't have one. And blink scroll is like my favorite. I know, they're definite, 100% they're baiting me with holy word. Isn't that the truth? They're like, oh yeah, it's acquirement, trust us. It's not acquirement. Oh, the threat assessment means next to nothing. I'll have to look at its abilities then, Snack. That's a good point. I don't want to just get overconfident. I don't want to make Emperor Palpatine's mistake. Alright, let me duck back here. I'd prefer to do this before going into the vault anymore. Yeah, that's true, nice guy. That the holy word actually is very, very useful in certain situations. Oh my god. That's the kind of horror story snack that you tell your grandchildren to keep them awake at night. The cautionary tale. Alright. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, you guys are not going to believe this, but I'm thinking about opening this. I can poison everything except the ghost. Let me look at the ghost. The ghost has battle sphere, cause fear, but I'm immune to it. Why am I immune to cause fear? All right. It doesn't have anything scary. Its spells are bad. It does have a weapon of flaming, but flaming means nothing. Alright. I might regret this. This might be the day my character dies, but we're going to go for it. Um, I'm going to stand here and do it. So I'm going to um, ramparts. Okay, fine. I'll armor, open the door, ramparts, and then poison. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and starburst. Um, the ghost doesn't really care about that, so let me, uh, let me see how Iron Shot does on it. I missed. Iron Shot. I got it. 